Welcome back, everyone. <clears throat> Today, I'm, I'm going to do something a little more fun. Uh, we're going to add pilots. Now, you know, if you look at the SDK, and it's under the modeling process, yeah. Uh, and most of the down, you'll find pilots. Create a helper. Now, when helper is, is the uh, SD, uh, 3D Max 3DS name. So that's basically what we would call in Blender an empty. I create an empty called PO, pilot O and pilot 1. These are pilot and copilot. And uh, blah 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 and its own characters. We're not going to bother with all that because we're not doing multi. And then place it on the seat of the cockpit. Now that will work and, and that's the bare minimum. If you do that you will have a pilot. You'll have a pilot and copilot in the seats. But it, they will be there whether you're in there or not. Now there is uh, there's a couple of ways you can add uh, edit that, and I think the official uh, or the common way I'm not going to search it up, but there's some code that you can add that'll make it act default. Basically, if you're in the cockpit, then the then the the pilot nodes are invisible, both of them. You can't see either either pilot. The, the code I got, uh, and they're pretty extensive blocks of code. Here's here's one block for the pilot, the other block for the uh, co-pilot. Is uh, allows you to add a click spot, a, a mouse interaction spot, and and enable or disable the visibility, which is kind of neat. So that's what we're gonna do, and uh, let's go ahead and get started on it. Uh, of course, as we, as as always, this is uh, this uh, notes will be in the uh, extras. By the time this goes live, I'll be updating. Eventually, another couple more videos. I'll probably put that uh, extras download on TO or something more permanent. In the meantime, uh, yeah, if you don't have a file that I'm using or the file I'm using looks different. Uh, just re-download that uh, extras, optional extras. Oh. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is let's go ahead and add our uh, our code in here. Uh, package sources. I'm going to the model. Model config. Oh, oh, where am I going? Model XML. Here we go. Uh, this is components, so we know this goes in this behavior section. Uh, let's see, did I? Uh, yeah, we have. So you notice we have some custom door stuff, or I do. Y'all don't yet. I need to. I need to remove that and do that one too. Okay, so we're just. I'm. I'm going to add it. At, normally, I would add this way down here at the bottom. Uh, well, not that far. You know, like just below here. But I think we're just going to add it at the top, make it easy to find until we make sure it's right. So we'll go above that one. And I'm just going to add both of these blocks, including the comments. Naturally, they're not spaced the same. That one is. That one's spaced, right? Why is this? Oh, this one is just... Uh, this one section didn't... Uh, didn't hit right. And that one section there. Huh. Actually not. Line them up there. Yeah, that looks right. All right, so now we have the pilot visibility and the co-pilot visibility in there. That looks right. We'll save our file. I and mean, that's a lot of stuff, but I'm I'm just. Right, here it is. From here up, that's uh, two components for each. Yeah. Double check, make sure I'm right here. Okay. Save that file. 
Now the other part of my 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 notes is the part of how you set everything up. And uh so basically we we just have to set it up in there according to those notes. Now I'm gonna slide that over there. So we got our, our code. And this is another one I'm doing on the fly. I, I kinda that worked and it, it's just a lot less time consuming if I don't have to do the video. You know, do the video without doing the video once and then do the video again. Alright, uh so we just need an empty. According to the SDK, we just need an empty, and we're going to drop an empty in each of these seeds. So we'll target the seed, drop that because that's where it'll create the empty. And then we're going to create add an empty, and I'm, ju I'm just going to use the plane axis because they're easier. And we'll name it Copilot, right? So. We'll name it Pilot O. I started on the wrong side there. Uh, where's my empty E? There it is. Control V. No. Did I not do something here? What is the deal here? Ah, oh, jeez. Rid of that thing. There we go. I renamed it to object. I wasn't sure what happened to it. I lost it there. Something's, something's not working right. Control V. Why am I not getting copy and paste? There we go. Thank you. Jeez. All right, we'll do the same thing over here. I know there's a key command to actually uh, highlight and scroll to this uh, the active object, but I don't know what it is. There we go. It worked that time right off. All right. Now, what we need to do... Uh, is add a material... Uh, or is is it? Wait a minute. That's it, ain't it? That, that's so. Yeah. No. We we need this the material on the interaction. So that's all there is to those. Th those apparently just allow the game to uh, use the uh, component name. All right. So then, now I'm only going to do one interaction. So you you can do a, a second one for the pilot. But I don't I don't use the second one, so I don't really care about the second one. So we're going to add just a cube mesh. Uh, we're going to scale it down to make it reasonable in there. And somewhere in there, anywhere in there. You can make it pretty if you want. That's your click spot, basically. This is going to be your, uh, uh, and this is key. This is going to be your interaction, your your uh, cube interaction. So it's going to be copilot seat. Cause see, I don't I don't add this one, but just by adding the code, it'll remove the. Uh, Pilot when you're in the vehicle, when you're in first person. Okay, we'll have co pilot seat. We'll go here. And then we got to add the uh, texture material, I mean. And this is where we got to make it this. Uh, 
Now, I don't know. I guess it's supposed to make it that way automatically or something, but I, I haven't been able to do that. Okay, uh, and then we want to set it as a data block right here. Now, I'm not going to swear that part's necessary, but I always do it. Okay, and then we want to make it invisible. So for invisible, we'll just set it to a decal. Go to here and make that zero. There we go. I think that's going to do us. Now, of course, we may have to adjust these, uh, these nodes. Because these nodes determine where they are, the, the pilots are placed. So if they're too big, scale them down. If you've got to move them around to get them to sit, you know, we may have to do that yet. But let's, uh, let's see if that actually works and gets us some pilots. Like I say, I haven't actually dry ran this one. It just... So it's a lot easier for me to continue. Uh, you know, just continue and and do it once, then do it twice. It's just they don't necessarily take a long time to actually do. But the time you add the prep and everything, it can, it can definitely take some some time to publish a. You know, a 30, 40 minute video can, can take several hours time you do a dry run. Something doesn't work, you got to go back and, you know, change a few notes and redo it again, dry run again. You know, it can, it can build up. I don't, I don't mind doing it. I hope it helps somebody, but if I can make it, make it more efficient, then that's, that's good for me. The SDK kind of changed. It's it's acting differently. I'm not getting the error message on that game pop up when I when I build out a out a game like this. I'm also in the bait. I guess you know I, that should be. I I should mention that maybe even in the description. So I'm, I'm actually, if you notice the game number up here at the top, I'm actually in, uh, in World Update 10, and it hasn't quite, at time of this recording, hasn't quite actually come out yet. I'm in the beta, so. That may affect how the SDK is operating, I don't know. I've been wanting to do a little HTML one, but the main HTML that's kind of useful until you get all the switches and everything isn't working right, so I have to figure out some other way. I'm not sure if it's in, in the beta or just, just the SDK being finicky. <laughs> This one works out first time. Let's see, we need need to load into the game to actually... Oh, I need to go back. I'm on the wrong uh, stuff here, aren't I? Change that. Techno. And I may do another video today for the doors. That's kind of another little extra. I mean, it's not really part of the basic aircraft, you know, development like the series. But they're fun extras that the doors gave me fits. I, I couldn't find any decent code, so.
you know, I, I finally found something I liked. It's kind of like this. It's it's a big chunk of code, big big block of code, but copy and paste makes that pretty easy if you have the right code. So, uh, okay, huh? There's our second character, and he's a little big. And now we got one and two from third person. I usually swap them around, obviously I haven't done that yet. But the next question is, oh goody. Yep, and there you go. Now you can, so now is you can have no pilot or whatever, just hit the click. And that's basically, I haven't done the clicks on the those yet. Oh, I did the video, but I don't guess these have the uh, thing anymore. I, I, I've lost some of the things. <laughs> but there you go. And uh, th that worked good. Cool. So the biggest thing here is, of course, you know, having the right coding and getting the right names in. Now, I didn't add the second seed interaction, but, you know, all you would do is, is create a second one like the, the first one, the co-pilot. Just create another one, name it differently, and then same same exact thing. And uh, then, then you would have a clickable pilot. I don't see the need in having a clickable pilot myself. I think that's mostly like if, for VR maybe, so you have the hands. I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, there you go. That was that was good. So cool. Maybe I'll start the doors and throw that one up there too. These are kind of like the last few ones I'm I'm wanting to get done, uh, it, or soon. <laughs> all right. Uh, well, y'all have a wonderful day. I hope that helps somebody. And uh, I'll sign off to keep it shortish. And y'all take care and talk to you soon.